as in our last video we know we have find out what is cartesian product p cross q and what is relation r dash so the relation that we calculated was r dash where p q is a multiple of p which was equal to 210 220 and 420 okay so now in this video we are going to calculate in this video we will learn how to find image domain range and core domain when we are given a relation so first of all image range domain and codomain okay so we are given our relation r dash and we need to know what is image range domain and codomain so what is the image for every pq belongs to r dash q is an image of p so what is image 10 is the image of 2 20 is the image of 2 20 is the image of 4 for every ordered pair pq belongs to r dash q means the second element will be the image of p means the first element coming to range q of ordered pair pq in r dash whatever relation is given the elements q will be the range for th in this example what will be the range range would be 10 20 and 20 so range would be 10 and 20 what is domain p of pq in r dash so what will be domain all the first elements will be the domain all the second elements will be the range so what are the first elements 2 and 4 so 2 and 4 is the domain all the first elements are always the domain all the second elements are always the range now coming to the codomain what is codomain whole set of q whole q set is codomain so codomain in this example would be 10 20 35 because in the cartesian product the whole set q it's not about the relation r it's about the cartesian product it we calculated above yes it's the uh, q is 10 20 35 10 20 35 so 10 20 and 35 is the whole set q and whole set q is called codomain so we have learned four things in this video that is image range domain and codomain what is image for every p q q is an image of p 10 is the image of 2 20 is image of 2 range all the second elements are called range all the first elements are called domain and what is codomain the whole set q is called codomain